Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwana's Kitchen. I'm Kiwana. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Kiwana. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all how I make my fruity ring wax melts. I have an order to fill and I'm bringing you guys with me as I fill it. So, if you guys want to see how I make these fruity rings and what I use to make them, keep watching. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm doing to make my cereal wax melts, I am measuring out my soy wax and I have my little pitcher there on top of my scale and I just reached <laughs> three pounds. I'm melting a total of three pounds of wax. So I got that melted. So what I'm going to be doing to make each color, I'm just going to separate it into my little pitcher um, and then go in with my liquid color, which is like really, really potent. But first I'm going to measure out my fragrance oil. And um, I got three pounds of wax, so I'm going to be using a total of three ounces of my fragrance oil. So now that I got that weighed out, I'm going to go ahead and just pour that into the wax and then just give it a good mix. And you saw it kind of started to solidify there, which is normal because my wax was sitting for a bit, but I did go ahead and remelt the wax and got it back soft. So now I'm starting with my first color, which is red. Okay. Um... You guys know the cereal that I am making. Um, it's called Fruit Rings. And that's also the name of the fragrance oil that I'm using. This, These wax melts will smell exactly like the cereal. Okay, exactly like the cereal. So I'm now going in with the red into my little mold there. But I decided let me go ahead and make up another color, which is going to be purple. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a good mix and just sit this to the side. And then I'm just going to start to go ahead and put some red in there, the purple, and just kind of have like, you know, the colors kind of spread out throughout my mold there. Now, if you guys want to see a video of how I make my molds, please comment down below and let me know. And I will show you guys of how I make all of my molds or how I made all of my molds and what I use to make them and the company that I get them from so here is the first batch and I'm just gonna go ahead and start to take some out just so that you guys can see of how they are turning out which is really really cute look at that so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue to take out the red and I did kind of speed this up a little bit and then I'm gonna start to take out the purple so like I said guys a lot of people ask me um, isn't it time consuming to make candles to do wax melts which it is okay but at the end guys it will be so worth it because you will see not only um, do I get a lot of compliments or will you get a lot of compliments on the things that you make with this wax but at the same time um, you can give it away as gifts like it for the holidays um, you get the same compliments from family and all of that guys it's just so worth it okay it may be time consuming but it is so so worth it so now that I got the red and the purple done I'm now working on orange and yellow so I went in with the orange and now I'm mixing up the yellow and then I'm just gonna start to pour over my mold here okay at first i showed you guys how i use the little pipettes to go in with my mold just the fyi guys that will make it take oh you will be all day using that thing okay so it's best to just go ahead and pour it on and then scrape over the top and get the excess back into your cup there and just remelt it and just repeat the process so just the fyi guys don't use no pipette <laughs> you would definitely be all day trying to use that thing okay so now i'm working on the blue color you guys know the fruity ring cereal have blue color in it um it didn't have blue in it but i think after a couple of years or a few years of being out they went on ahead and add blue in so i figured why not go ahead and add that into my wax melts wax melts as well so i'm gonna do the same thing just pour that over the top and yeah just go ahead and scrape off the top and just get it remelted and just continue to pour it over until all of my wax is gone so i did that and i apologize for not showing you guys the colors as i was you know demolding the little cereals but i'm working on the last color now and i will show you guys this one i was just so caught up in just trying to get these little wax melts done because you guys see i had to make a total of six colors <laughs> 
<laughs> and like I said, it was time consuming. So I'm going to show you the green as I start to demold them. And you guys see the wax kind of spilling on the sides. No worry. Just go ahead and clean that up and get it back into your mold and remelt it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and scrape the top off of these and get it remelted. And then I'm just going to start to show you guys of how it look as these come out. Again, I apologize for not showing you the others, but I was just trying to get these wax melts done. But look at those guys. They are so, so cute. So I have a total of three of these that I did demold and then I eventually got them mixed in with the other colors. And here they are here guys. All of my wax melts are done. And when I say these have my house lit, my entire house lit, it really does just i guess because i was melting it in the kitchen then going back in the living room then going to the kitchen or whatever but no matter everywhere smells like this okay so i went on ahead and got these separated into my little containers here and i'm gonna get the labels on there for the order and um yeah guys i got an order for 11 of these so i figured i might as well bring you guys with me as i made my order and that is pretty much it so like i said if you guys want to see how i make the molds please comment down below and let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to know about these please let me know but i'm going to go ahead and melt a few just so you guys can see how they turn out and that is pretty much it so i truly do hope you guys enjoyed my video of me showing you of how i make my cereal wax melts my fruity ring wax melts if you guys enjoyed my video Please give my video a thumbs up, support my channel by subscribing, and until next time, you guys take care. Bye!